Hello everyone, today we're going to be creating this blog workflow tool built on Airtable, make.com and ChatGPT, which basically lets you combine the perfect applications for a workflow like this. You have full control over on when to use the AI. You can edit the blog when you want to and also publish it automatically. So let's jump in. Okay guys, so this is the blog inside of Airtable. As you can see here, you just generate an idea. To just generate an idea and a source and then you change your status to generate blog posts and it's going to generate a few a full blog posts like this blog post generate and then you just approve and publish based on on you changing changing the status of the blog and here is the interface we created so that this actually looks good in the process and it's actually more comfortable so that's why i created this 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 interface and here is blog creation and editing where you can actually edit your blog. If here you just generate the idea, here is to approve. You can even edit yourself that it gives you control on the blog. So let's say I didn't want something that the, the AI said right here. You can just control it and approve the blog. And then here you can just change the status to publish and it's going to actually go to uh make that comment publish that blog list, okay so everybody everything is built hybridly here on make that comma okay so that um but that's on the back end so everything works out here on the automations which i'm going to show you in a few minutes so yeah that's pretty much it how the block works so let's go to that tutorial just a quick reminder here before we start on the tutorial if you guys want the templates for this workflow for make.com and Airtable, you can grab that out down below in the description. It's in the first link and you just need to submit your email. Okay, guys. So the number one step is to obviously get your accounts on make.com and Airtable. Make.com is free. Description, I believe in Airtable. If you sign up with, with my link, you get 10 bucks of credit. And for Airtable, you do need to get on the, on the team. But like I said, you can get a 14-day trial if you click the link in the description. Okay, guys, so the first step is you need to create a table in Airtable with your name blocks, like right, like you see right here, and you just create one table, okay? And for the fields, you need to add the block title, the status, and image, idea, source, contents, keywords, meta descriptions to log, edit instructions, and date published. And you can add these right here, and most of them are just long text but for example for the status you do need to click single select and add status and you'll add the fields you'll see right here add idea generate blog posts blog post generated edit regenerate images approved publish and published and you can just click save right here Okay, guys, after you do this, you're going to click the tab here where it says automations and you're going to click here where it says create an automations. Okay. After this, you're going to click add a trigger and you're going to click when record matches conditions. Okay. You're going to click the table, your blog table and condition is when status is and the off. And you're going to click generate blog posts and it's regenerate images and publish okay so after this you have you got your trigger set up so that every time you actually change the status from here let me let me click this off so that every time you actually change the status what let's, let's say you have a new idea you change the status to generate blog posts it's going to activate this automation and it's going to go to make that come okay so now you need to click advanced logic or action and you're going to click run scripts. Okay. To follow through with this, you need to go back to make.com like I did right here, create a new scenario, just name it however you want. And you need to click plus and actually add webhook. Okay. You click webhook and webhooks right here. And you're going to click custom webhook and you're going to just add a hook, whatever name you want. And it's going to give you a link as you can see right here. So you're going to go back to Airtable and you're just going to paste the script. I am going to leave in the description and you're going to copy your address from your web, from your webhook to your clipboard. 
you don't you you never copy mine you create one yourself because if you copy mine your automation will, it won't work basically now what you got to do is add re add input variable here you're going to click Airtable record ID and here you're going to put record ID okay once you do this if you don't do this part right here it won't work so you're going to click uh, test uh, run tests and just click a random a random box there when where where it pops and as you can see here you'll you'll see it's successfully determined this means your your air table is connected to make.com and you need to set this to on okay now we're start setting up the different branches in in make.com so this automation works here you're, we're gonna look for air table you're gonna connect your account and you're gonna click get a record and you're just gonna click your base which is basically your your table and your table and for the record id you need to click the webhook as you see right here record id so on the webhook once you run the script you're gonna actually be sending like the id of the of the of the row okay so that's why we need to get a record so we get all the information not just the id okay so we're gonna click run once just to get the data uh tested and you're gonna click uh test automation select a record and just select a random record okay just run the automation and as you can see right here it works you just need to test it once okay once you once you, once it works and you got all the data like you see right here where it says output you're gonna click flow control sorry and you're gonna add a router okay once you add this router you click one two and three and you basically have the different routes where the where the automation can go based on the status so if we go back to Airtable, we have four different options of where the automation can go generate blog post edit regenerate up images or publish Okay, so we need to set up filters for that. So we j just click set up a filter. Condition, you need to set the status. And we can to just, just copy the status, generate blog posts. Set up a filter again status um, is going to be edit edit block okay and as you can see status needs to be edit because it's how it is how it's saying right here and next is regenerate images set up a filter Status is regenerate images. And finally, set up a filter was the last one, publish condition. Okay, guys, so after we set up the filters, you just need to create and add a, another module and click open AI. And as you can see, ChatGPT, and you're gonna click generate an image first. You just click OK for now, and you're just gonna add the modules first. Create a completion. Create a completion. Create a completion. Okay, so you need to add the amounts of of data you want to be created. So let's say I have, I want the, the, the title, the image, the idea, or oh, the idea, no, because I already have the idea that's an input, whatever it's an output, the content, the keywords, the meta description, the slug, and that's it. So we need six modules, one, two, three, four, five. We're missing one, create a completion. Okay, six. For the edits, just, just a simple completion. 
And I like to do this because I work, do it all at once and then edits it, you know? And for regenerate images, you just click generate an image. And for all of these, you need to connect your AP, your OpenAI API. I'm not gonna go through that in this video. You can watch like a ton of videos on that. It's pretty simple. You just need to create an account, add like two dollars into it, and just run it through with these with these. These cost like a fraction of cents, so it's it's not really that expensive. So yeah, you just need to connect your 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 account and here you you set up Dali 3 because that's a more more advanced module and emphasize for the prompt you just need to select or you, you can get pretty creative with this depending on the style you want your image to be but um i'll i always like my my images to be realistic realistic image and you're just gonna select the idea as a variable. So what, what what we have here are variables and it's gonna change every time this automation is set. And so yeah, just click realistic image of this idea and just select idea. That's pretty much it. And as for everything right here, you first need to rename it. So this is title, this is and for this, I'm not going to go through every single one of these modules, but it's basically selecting just uh, create a chat completion with the GPT models. Okay, you select create chat completion GPT models, select GPT-4 if you want. And I like to use GPT-4 because it will give you a more advanced uh, response. But yeah, you just select user and you're just, and you're just going to make it generate for in this example, a title. Okay, so generate a title for this blog idea and source. And for the idea, you're just gonna put idea in the variable of idea. And for the source, the same thing, you're just gonna click the variable. Okay, and just click OK. You're gonna do that for every single one of these, you know, for the contents aspect. Generate this this a full blog post of the length of whatever you want. Tell tell the AI to to actually write it however you want, and it's gonna do that. Cause it you can get pretty custom with this. So after this, after you finish setting everything up, you're just gonna click the add button and select Airtable, and you're just gonna click update a record. Okay, you're just gonna connect your base block tool. Okay, record ID, you select the ID you have right here on Airtable, and you're gonna add the values so that they are added. The table itself, so for example, if I want the title, we're gonna go to title, and we're gonna go to choices, and message, and the contents of the message, okay? And you're gonna do this for every single one of these. So status, I want the status to be blog post generated so it switches from generated blog post to blog post generated and let the user know, okay? For images, the file URL, um, you're just gonna add the file URL right here. And the idea, no, no, contents, we need the contents, choices, message, contents. Keywords, same thing. Choices, no, 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 choice, content, okay. And you you, you get the, the idea, like you just need to input the variables into Airtable. Okay, so for the edit part, both on the edit the block and regenerate image, you actually need to put the prompt in. So we actually regenerate the content again, okay. So here we have an edit instructions part so we first like describe how we want to edit the blog and here we just gonna put the edit instructions the blog and you're gonna post the contents here are the instructions and edit instructions and that's pretty much it as for the for the 
OpenAI ChatGPT uh, edit section. And here is the same thing, regenerate Just gonna select a title just to give AI the reference, and if you get more reference, it will get better results. Here are the instructions. Edit instructions. Okay, so lastly, you want the publish block step. So you're just gonna click this publish block and you're just gonna connect whatever platform you post your blocks on. Um, in this example, I'm just going to do WordPress because that's where I personally use for some of my clients. And like I said, you just create a post and you can get pretty creative with it. I'm not going to go through with this in this particular example, but just add the variable of content, metadata and all that sort of stuff so that you can actually publish it. Okay. It's pretty simple. Just plug and play with the variables, but yeah, you just click create a post and we want to be updated when the, when the post is actually published. So we are going to create update a record and we're just going to block tool table box record ID, ID and status. We're going to change it to publish and we're actually going to go to date published. And you're just gonna go to dates and you're gonna click now. That's pretty much it. So that it actually records the time when it's published and you can see that as a as a data. Right here you're gonna just gonna click control S or save it. And you're just gonna go here. Okay, so after you saved your blog, you're just gonna go back to Airtable and you're gonna test it out. Make sure your automation is actually turned on. You're just gonna turn on your automation and make sure your automations are turned on. I have mine turned on right here and make that come as well. And we're gonna create a test. So, okay, so switch it from generate from idea to generate blog posts. So, so yeah. Once you did that, it's going to run the automation as you can see right here. Okay, scenario is actually running as you can see right here. Okay, guys, here we have the blog post. It was just generated as you can see every single part of the blog is right here, except of obviously for the edit instructions and the date published. So let's say I didn't like the content and click make it more as a professional, as a business wrote it. Okay, once you submitted your edit instructions, you're just gonna go here and click edit. And it's gonna go through the scenario again, you're just gonna go through the edit route, okay? You see how it's working now? You see how this blog is working? And as you can see, here's the title. You can expand this and you can see the whole the whole thing, you know. You can edit it whatever you want. Okay, after this goes through, it's actually gonna just update on the content side and yeah, just upload update it. So as you can see, you can go here, you know, modify the content a little bit. You didn't like it. The image, the same thing. You're just gonna click here, edit instructions. And just gonna click realistic image and just gonna click here and click regenerate images and it's gonna actually go through this again but go through the regenerate image routes so as you can see it's gen regenerating the image and here is a new image it came up with and you can even change the image to one you have before you publish it and as you can see, blog post generated. Let's say I want to approve it. You know, a team member watches for it. And once you publish it, it's just gonna go through the automation again. And that's pretty much it as for the, the data and, and the functionality part of the blog. But we want to actually be able to use it and for the team to actually enjoy this tool, right? So that's why I created this interface and this interface is pretty, pretty cool. You can see the preview right here. 
is the same thing works basically the same it's uh just the data formatted and stored in a different manner okay and you can go to review and publish publish it and whatever this uh this is built with Airtable interfaces you just need to click interface and click plus at interface and create your your interface whatever you want and you're gonna actually start from a blank page and you're just gonna add the different elements you want your table to contain so let's say i want to start with a grid which is what i did in the in the last part you're gonna add a grid and you're gonna add text so you can actually see what this is about. So yeah, you go here, you actually add the, the table and you're gonna click here, just gonna edit the table to, to, to make it to your preference and you, and you can just click here so that you can actually show just the relevant parts of the, of the record. And yeah, you can get pretty creative with this. It's just like building a website pretty plug and play. But what I did here is just selected and added a bunch of different things and filtered them. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to show you my, my interface so you can just copy it, create a title, uh, import a table and filter it down just by idea. And then generate a content and to approve content is just... Uh, what is called gallery and you're just gonna, just gonna click filter down by generated um specific condition is when status is blog post generated it's gonna be right here okay edit blog or image with ai same thing uh this is when blog post is generated it's gonna be right here or when it's edit or uh regenerate images okay so right here is where you can select and regenerate your images or regenerate your blog if you don't like it, okay? And I created another tab for review and publish, so it's kind of separate and it's, it looks cleaner, you know? Just review and publish your blog. Right here, it's just basically going in here and changing status to publish and then being published. The blog publishes right here. And here you can basically, I just set the, the filter to only show the published blocks, okay? So it looks pretty clean and you can basically get the handle of this pretty quickly. And you can also create a multiple views inside of here. Okay guys, so that's basically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching through this tutorial. If you guys want to see how to actually build this interview step by step, I'm going to be releasing another video on it. I didn't want it to keep this video an hour long, so that's why I stopped on it. I hope you all learned a lot. And any questions, just leave them below in the description. Thank you so much. Remember to sign up to Airtable with the link down below in the description to get like 10 bucks of free credit. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.